Well, howdy, y'all. Sure been a long time coming getting back out in the deer and hog woods. It's been so darn wet. 2018, there was 50 inches of rain here in Central Texas, and that comes up to oh, about the bottom of my pocket flap right here, and I'm six foot tall, so we've had a lot of darn rain. There were so many acorns this year that the animals were just deep in the woods and wouldn't come out to corn, but we kept putting on our old duck boots and getting out there and putting corn out, and sure enough, slowly, they finally started coming back to the corn. So anyway, me and John are gonna try and get out this evening and see if we can't either get him a deer or get me a hog, uh, but stick around and uh, you kind of see uh, what finally started coming back out. Well, this old shaggy hog showed up one night and uh, he was interested in the corn or at least sniffing around the area, but uh, he just wasn't quite brave enough to come on in. Now these younger deer, they uh, finally started showing up in the daytime. They did come into the feeder and we even had a sounder uh, that came in with some young pigs. They're always kind of naive and they'll, they'll charge in first. Then we had this old Tom come and mark our first base, probably what he thinks is his squirrel feeder. And uh, then we had a nice buck come in and look in our pen, but didn't come in. Then this guy was uh, one of our targets, Aardvark, we call him, because he's got such a long nose. And then this fella here, Hercules, because he is one heck of a specimen of a hog. We hope to see him later. All right, we're out in our old favorite blind tonight. We got uh, about an hour and a half to wait before dark. This is the prettiest day that we've had to hunt this whole season. We've got two days left before the season ends. And this is the best day we've had of hunting. It's rained one out of every three days for the last two months. The rivers are flooded. This whole place down here is just now starting to get huntable. We had a record acorn crop. The deer went nocturnal, the hogs went nocturnal. We have had really poor hunting, but it's starting to come around. They're starting to eat our corn now, and we think we're finally gonna score tonight. Well, not too much later, we saw this little four-point buck come out. He was sure looking mighty fine out in that golden sun, but uh, he wasn't legal to shoot, so we were hoping maybe we would see something else. And uh, he did stop and look over his shoulder like maybe a big buck was telling him that he was trespassing and he was a little bit worried about that bigger buck coming. So we were watching and he was watching, but he eventually spooked on out like maybe there was a hog or something back behind him. So we never did see a deer, but sure enough, a hog did eventually show up. Now this is who we call Aardvark here. And uh, I got my gun up and uh, got it on him pretty darn quick. I had it sitting in the window sill. I tried to get him right between the shoulder blades. It hit him just right where the crosshairs was and he dropped right down. 